morning folks, it is Monday morning again, uh, the 4th of January, hard to believe, uh, and we're going to come together again this morning and read God's Word. We're in Proverbs, so we're in Proverbs chapter 4 this morning, um, so I'm going to read the, the whole chapter together. So this is Proverbs 4 being read through the New Living Translation. My children, listen when your father corrects you. Pay attention and learn good judgment, for I am giving you good guidance. Don't turn away from my instructions. For I too was once my father's son, tenderly loved as a mother's only child. My father taught me. Take my words to heart, follow my commands and you will live. Get wisdom, develop good judgment. Don't forget my words or turn away from them. Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And whatever else you do, develop good judgment. If, uh, if you prize wisdom, she will make you great. Embrace her and she will honour you. She will place a lovely wreath on your head. She will present you with a beautiful crown. My child, listen to me and do as I say. And you will have a long and good life. I will teach you wisdom's ways and lead you in straight paths. When you walk, you won't be held back. When you run, you won't stumble. Take hold of my instructions and don't let them go. Guard them, for they are the key to life. Don't do like the wicked do and don't follow the path of evildoers. Don't even think about it. Don't go that way. Turn away and keep moving. For evil people can't sleep until they've done all the evil deeds for the day. They can't rest until they've caused someone to stumble. They eat the food of the wickedness and drink the wine of violence. The way of righteousness is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines even brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. They have no idea what they are stumbling over. My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. Don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep into your heart. For they bring life to those who find them and healing to your whole body. Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Avoid all perverse talk. Stay away from corrupt speech. Look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. Amen. That's in Proverbs chapter 4. Solomon is trying to pen upon us the importance of wisdom. How it is so important to follow the right path. And he uses several phrases that for us as Christians, as followers of Christ, will, um, will resonate, will, will seem familiar. One of the best ones, verses 18 and 19. The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines even brighter until the full light of day. But the way of the wicked is like total darkness. You know, in the Bible, following Christ, his way is, um, Jesus is like into light and we walk in the light whenever we follow Jesus. And whenever we don't walk in Jesus' way, it talks about how we walk in darkness. And Solomon makes the point there that um, about the darkness, they have no idea what they are stumbling over. How we can't see what way we're walking whenever we're trying to go our own way and not following God's way. But he also makes a very good point. He says, guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. Now, when he means heart, we think of a physical heart that beats, but he means our, our, our inner being, you know, our soul, our, our, our mind, how we think. Um, and it is influenced by what we see around us, by what we read around us, by what we take in. Um, you know, again, it resonates with what Jesus talks about, the, the windows, the eyes being the windows to the soul. Um, and if nothing evil is in there, it can't come out. But whenever we take in evil, then evil comes out again. Uh, 
it's about what we're doing in our day-to-day lives. Are we seeking God's wisdom through the Bible? Are we seeking our own wisdom through the, the world around us? Are we just say, deciding that oh, I'll go whatever way I want? Or are we concentrating on God's teaching? And that's what Proverbs is all about. It's about, about God's teaching. Um, and yes, Solomon at times he uses phrases and, and, and he will do that we will find confusing and they will seem you know, contradictory. But we'll just take it one step at a time. But again, it's about looking for wisdom in the right places. Turning to the right source. I mean, right at the very start of Proverbs chapter 4, the author talks about learning from his father. Now, you could interpret that as Solomon learning from David. But when you talk about it in a biblical term or in a heavenly term, it's about us learning from our heavenly father. Learning his ways and how they instruct us and how they will guide us and direct us. So there's a thought, folks, about how much time we spend in God's word today and how much time will we spend pursuing things which are not helpful for us or not useful to us, things that will cause us more corruption than they will good. Let's pause this, pray together. Heavenly Father, again, thank you for your word. Thank you for the encouragement that your word gives. Thank you for the challenge that it brings as well. Um, Lord, we are challenged to, to grow closer to you, to know more about you. And we do that through spending time with you. So Lord, just help us today to find that time to spend with you. To find that time to read your word, to talk to you. Just to sit quietly and to listen um, for your voice. Listen as you speak back to us again, as you guide us and teach us, um, as you chastise us, Father, as you challenge us. Help us just to be attentive to you. So, Lord, thank you. And we give this day over to you now, Father. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Folks, pray that you um, stay safe today, no matter what you're up to. Um, that uh, you... Just continue to, to, to keep on holding on to Christ. Um, and that today would be a day whenever you feel blessed and feel close to him. So folks, please stay safe. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.